What's up guys? Learning with Rich here. In this exercise, I'm going to show you how to create a drafting view for our typical TCAN slab edge detail. Okay? So let's do this. So drafting view can be found here on the view tab since it has something to do with view. Okay? So here's your drafting view. So for the definition, it creates a view showing details that are not directly associated with the building model so that means drafting view it's just a 2d drawing that's why if you're going to continue reading it says use this tool to create unassociated view specific details at uh, differing view scales coarse medium or fine detail using 2d detailing tools such as detail lines detail regions detail components insulation reference planes dimensions symbols and text so Drafting view is just a 2D drawing. So any changes that you made on your 3D model, it will not affect your drafting view and vice versa. So we use the drafting view if you want to create a detail, detailing in 2D view. So instead of importing your AutoCAD drawing, just do it here in Revit. Just create a drafting view. Okay, so let's do this. So I'm going to select the drafting view and then on the new drafting dialog box, I'll just put the name here. So this will going to be my typical TCAND slab edge. And then you can also specify here the scale. So once I select OK here, it will be added here on my project browser. So I select here OK. And there you go. So there's now my drafting view. Expanding that, you will see now our typical TCAN slab edge view, which is this one. Okay, so now the next thing that I'm going to do here is I'm going to place a detail component representing the TCAN slab edge. Okay, so to do that, so let's go to the annotate. Here you can, found, uh, you can find all the 2D elements here on the detail component so let's click detail component and then let's go to the properties i'm gonna select here my slab so you can type here you can search so slab that's the one so i'm gonna use here 150 mm m slab with optional hunch section view okay so i'm gonna select this and then i'm gonna uh put one here and then I'm going to maybe approximate uh, or I'll just make it 900. So 900 and then click. All right. And then just select here, modify. Okay. And then after that, I'm going to select the, uh, this is just a 2D drawing, 2D family. So you can create this on the family creation. Okay. So I'll select this one. And then from the properties, I'm going to turn off the left hunch visibility. So I'm going to uncheck this one. Okay, if I select here apply, so this is now how it looks like. Okay, so I'm going to open the type properties by selecting edit type. And then I'm going to modify this. For the hunch thickness, I'm going to change this to let's say 375. And then for the hunch top, I'll make it uh, 525. And then I'll select your OK, and there you go. Okay? Right, so the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to put a filled region that represent the surrounding soil. Filled region, it's just like a uh, hatch in AutoCAD. Okay? So let's go to annotate again. Uh, look for the region. So you have here filled region. So let's click this. Okay. And then I'll be using the line style, thin lines here. Right? Okay, so let's do this. So you need to create the uh, surrounding soil in our view window. So make sure it's close, no intersection, no overlapping. Okay? All right. So using the line tool, I'm going to put here an offset distance. So I'm going to put uh, 300 offset distance. Okay, and then after that, I'm going to start uh, placing here. Then here. Here. Wait. 
Okay. Let me delete this. Let me just put just a line here without an offset distance. So I'll put one here, here. All right, so check the chain tool so you will be able to create it continuously. Something like that. And then I'm going to make it 150 or I'll just use peak lines here. So peak lines, offset distance, 150. All right, so let's offset this here, here, and here. Right, and then let's trim this. Trim extend to corner. Trim extend to corner. Right? And then we are going to close this. So I'll just put it somewhere here. Then here. Again, make sure your boundary is closed. No intersection. No overlapping. It should be like this. All right? Okay, and then after that, we are going to change the line type representing the top of the grade. Okay, like for example, this one here. So I'm going to select this and then I'm going to change the line style of that to wide lines. Okay, so turning off your thin lines, you'll be able to see here the difference of your wide lines and then your thin lines. All right, and then after that, I don't want to see this in my drawing. So I'm not going to delete these lines, but I'm going to change the line style to uh, invisible lines like that. And then just make sure the type here of your field region is set to earth. And that's it. So I'm now going to select here, check. And there you go. All right. Okay, so after we create the hatch pattern or the earth or the hatch that represents the earth, so I'm going to uh, create or add detail lines and detail components to represent the reinforcement. Okay, so let's do this. So I'm going to use the line tool again. And then for the line here, just use the wide lines. And then I'm going to move my cursor here I'm not going to pick and then move down until I see 50 like that okay actually you can also put a offset distance here so like this 50 and then you can uh, pick here like that now if you want to go to make that line flip to the other side just press a space bar like that then I can now draw from here, pick from here, right? And then draw from here. Now this one, I'm just going to make this 300. There you go, 300. Okay. And then we're going to make this rounded edge. So to do that, just use detail line again and then uh, fillet arc. Specify the radius. I'm going to use 25 radius. So I'm going to pick from here and then here. There you go. So it's now round, rounded edge. So this will going to be represent the reinforcement of our model. Now the next thing that I'm going to do here is I'm going to add another detail component. So I'm going to select this one detail component and then from the type selector you can type here like a uh, bar okay so I'm, lo I'm, in, I'm looking for M reinforcement bar section uh, 16 so I'm gonna use this 2d element again and then I'm just going to place it here okay so it represents the bent rebar to place the reinforcement bar and then just select this one all right so you can select this and then you can still uh, modify this one by using your uh, arrow on the keyboard so you can move it like that okay and then I'm gonna select this one and then I'm gonna 
copy this copy I'm gonna pick the base point here and then I'm going to place here like that and then just select your modify there you go now the next thing that we will be doing is we're going to add detail lines and detail components to annotate the detail okay so to do that i'm going to select again a uh, component detail component and then here from the type selector i'm looking for my break line so i'm going to select the break line okay and you can press space bar to rotate this like that right so you can press space bar and then after that I'm going to place my break line. Let's say I'm going to put it here on the left side. There you go. And then I'll just select your modify. Now this one you can flip. Select that. And then you can uh, press space bar. Space bar again to flip it. And then you can click that and then you can adjust something like that okay so you can always modify your brake line by adjusting the uh, handle the shape handle okay next we're going to add dimension to detail component so let us add dimension to finish up so let's say for example here so I'm going to select the dimension tool and then I'm going to pick from here to this bottom here. And then I'm going to place it here. Okay. And then I'm going to select here modify. And then after that, I'm going to select the dimension value. So I'm going to select this one and then click again. And then I'm going to put here a suffix. Let's say I'll just put mean as for a uh, minimum and then I'll select here okay there you go so I'm just gonna make this um, 300 all right <clears throat> next is I'm going to place horizontal dimension to specify the width of the hunch okay so let's select again the dimension and then I'm going to select this line here and then this line here and then I'm going to place it here and then select modify and then again I'm going to select this text here so click click again so I do not want to show the dimension but I want that to be replaced by the text so I'm going to put here uh, C plan and then I'll select here OK there you go okay so what else so I'm gonna add here some text okay so let's add text so let's select the text tool and then for the alignment I'm gonna put that on the left side here and then I'm gonna add two segments okay so I'm gonna select this and then after that I'm going to pick the first line there and then pick another point and then pick another point here so I'm gonna type here uh, provide dowels to match slab rain okay and then C plans for slab construction there you go and then just click outside and then for the text, you can click that and then you can use this uh, dot to adjust your text, to compress it, something like that. Okay, and then let us put another text. So I'm going to add one here. So let's select the text tool and then let's select the type here I'm gonna use 2.5 mm aerial open dot so let's click that and then after that I'm gonna use here again two segments so I'm gonna pick here there you go and then we are going to 
just place it here then I'm gonna place another point here okay so this one we're gonna be continues bar T and B okay and then just click outside modify let's click this just to tidy up our model our annotation always tidy up and there you go there you go so this is now our drafting view so as you can see instead of importing your CAD drawing you can just do it here in Revit okay so any changes that you made in the 3d model it will not affect your drafting view so if you're going to update your model so make sure you also update your drafting view all right so thank you for watching guys have a nice day